see <clears throat> if if you have been doing what you have been doing you will only get what you have been getting you understand what i am trying to say now because i am unable to hear your voice the only thing i could do to under, to understand that your understanding is you could raise your hand okay i at least i could see that as a response so if you have been doing what you have been doing you will be only getting what you have been getting if you have to get something different you have to do something different do you agree with this if you agree raise your hand raising hand is not like this or like this raising hand is like this raising hand is like this <clears throat> excellent so <clears throat> people <clears throat> the intent of the session classroom to boardroom is now you're all in your fourth year right am i right you're all in your fourth year of your education yes sir okay now <clears throat> now every person like you like i was like you 26 years back so now people aspire see i want to get a job once they get a job they want to get into a good company and then when they get into good company they want to get into good roles and once they get into good roles they want better salaries and packages and facilities once they get there they want to have overseas opportunities once they get there they want to get into senior management okay where <clears throat> once you become senior management you would be actually driving the enterprise okay now as a you know programmer or as a project manager or as a tech graduate or working in a tech environment you would ask for for a role and you will be doing that but as a senior manager you will be somebody who would be deciding what people should do in the organization so we you know every employee after 5 6 years of work experience they aspire to become senior management is it is it right what i am trying to say do you resonate with it do you agree with it <clears throat> <clears throat> suppose all of you are here instead of giving you a project manager role or a, a operations role or a programmer role if i say i'll give you ceo opportunity will you take that opportunity raise your hand right we all take so we are all aspirational people human race is aspirational right we are genetically wired to grow to grow and to grow and to grow but the fact is not everybody grows yes or no yes sir so not everybody grows now you know the google ceo pichaya he is from <clears throat> chennai and he is driving google right his salary is 1300 crores rupees per annum okay 1300 crores per annum so everybody aspires to get there but <clears throat> not everybody gets there even me right <clears throat> i aspired uh, 26 years back to become a team leader to become a manager to become a senior manager to become a vice president to become a director okay these are aspirations but not everybody some people remain programmers some people remain project managers some people remain as assistant managers some people remain team members so the purpose of this session is how to quickly get from classroom to boardroom right in between you will be an employee classroom to boardroom boardroom, boardroom is a decision making room where you decide what should the organization do what should the employees do you you pretty much decide and drive the organization you understand so now typically for a, a person to get into senior role in an organization it might take uh two decades or 15 years right as you get a promotion every year i mean i see that uh, <clears throat> i want you people to just you know just concentrate on what i am trying to say okay and look at me so now assume people get promotions every 3 years okay for you to become for you to get into board room as a senior manager or into senior management it might take 15 to 20 years okay but there are means and methods with which you will be able to grow at a quicker pace at a faster pace right 
I mean, is it impossible for us to get promotion every year? Tell me, is it impossible? Yes or no? No. Sir. Is it possible to get promotion every year? Yes. Yes. yes sir. If you think yes, it will be yes. If you think no, it will be no. You understand? Now, if you can get a promotion elevation, position elevation every year, so within 10 years, you could become, you could get into boardroom, right? Or within seven years or within 12 years. Now, when, you, when suppose you're all around 20, 21, 22 now, right? At 32, you could become, you could get into boardroom. If there is opportunity for you to become a person who get into boardroom, will it interest you? If it interests you, raise your hand. <laughs> Wonderful. So now, because you're interested, I will continue with the session. If you're not interested, I would have said thank you and I will leave the session. You, you're getting my point. It won't yes. make sense. It, it won't make sense if I try to tell or share things with people who are not interested. If you see the scope, yes. If you have the aspiration, then only these sessions would work. If not, it won't work. And while I'm trying to share some insights, will you be prepared to be open? Will you be prepared to pick those things and implement in your respective lives? Raise your hands. <clears throat> if you are prepared for it, right? Let me tell you, if you're prepared, only you could do. If you want to see, uh, let's see what this fellow will tell. He's wearing a maroon color T-shirt. Uh, these people said London. Bloody hell, so much things. I heard many such people. This is another fellow in the market. Okay. Now, let's see. Now, you know, you understand people. What works is your belief. What works is your hope. Okay. If that should actually drive us. Okay. Now, I'll just start sharing my PPT. It's taking time. Give me a minute. Okay. Uh... Why I'm unable to, no, my PPT is open, but I'm unable to find it in that. Uh... Wait, wait, wait. You are the co-host, huh? co sir. You can share the screen. Yeah, I'm unable to find that uh, PPT is open, but... Uh... When I'm trying to click the share button, ah, yes. Are you able to see the screen now, people? Yes, sir. Sure. Yes, sir. Now you are able to see what is classroom and what is boardroom? Yes, sir. So, which room is more interesting for you? Okay. Left one or right one? Okay. If it is left, please raise left hand. If it is right, please raise right hand. <laughs> okay, I am seeing all right hands. Excellent. So now do I have right? Do I have uh, right to speak this, do this session is the question. I'm telling that, yes, you could become, uh, you know, senior manager. You could get into boardroom in the next 10, 12 years is what I'm trying to say. But do I have that capability? You have to see, right? Yes or no? Okay. So I'm moving to next slide. You're seeing this slide now? Please keep in uh, slide share. 
Okay, now you are seeing the slide. Yes, sir. So this was in two thousand one in UK. Okay, I came to study. I was a restaurant worker. Okay, I used to make burgers. Okay, you are seeing. Now, at that time, there were no digital cameras, so we had to put film and click pictures. Other jobs which I used to do was I used to clean toilets, I used to clean tables. Okay, so this is what I was in two thousand one, and now uh, somebody has presented my uh, introduction. Right there. I mean, you might have heard that yes, I hold a PhD, I hold three master degrees, I'm an entrepreneur, I do social work, I have I hold some certifications. Do you remember all that? So no. I actually have deployed growth hack in my life, right? And then I could actually transition myself at a great pace into a lot of roles. So. Many of my, you know, uh, classmates who started career with me, right? Most of them remain where they are. Some people have achieved more than me. Some people are like me, and some people are actually all are respected. But the point is, we should be able to aspire, and we should be able to put ourselves to the best possible use, so that we'll be able to rise and then make the best utilization of this self in this one life. Because people. We have only one life. We don't know whether we have next life or not. Forget about next life. We don't know about tomorrow, right? We have to make the best relation of today. What is there before us? That is the whole point of putting yourself into the best possible mode and then leveraging all the skills, all the knowledge which you gain in college, and putting translating all the knowledge into appropriate skills and putting them, you know, at the right place at the right time in the right way. It will help you grow at a quicker pace. Okay, so now how to get into the boardroom is a question. You so you should you need you need to understand that only one percent of employees get promoted. Only one percent candidates get selected. You know, Indian population is one hundred and forty crores. Okay, now everybody aspires for a job after B Tech, but. The industry statistics says only one percent get selected. One percent startup succeed. Only one percent people know half a own half of the world's wealth. Only one percent millionaires are there in the world. Only one percent get into top schools. Question is, what do these one percent people do differently? Should we know? Yes. Yes is right hand. No is left hand. Somebody lifted left hand on my right side. So all the right hands, okay. Now people at student stay at student stage, what an ex exceptional candidate means? Someone who gets exceptional grades in academics, someone who wins prizes and gets recognized at prestigious international events, someone who has published articles, white papers, blogs, someone who gets a lot of inward job offers, someone whose CV gets shortlisted ten times faster, someone who lands up straight away in higher salary grade, and as such. Okay, now first we we understood who are those one person people. What are those one person people? What are the character characteristics of these one person people? Okay, and then as an employee, now you are in classroom, right? You are expecting to get into boardroom. So what is that which is expected to you? Expected from in the boardroom is the slide this speaks. Someone who addresses his or job necessities with great precision. Now, listen, all of you. People work nine to five. I'm just uh, closing this slide to have because this is the most important slide. I'm stopping sharing. Now, what happens? We aspire for a job. Somehow we get a job, nine to five, some whatever salary, salary. So <clears throat> I see. I mean, right now I'm in India, but I worked in India for a long time. So I see people coming at nine o'clock, log in. They have to punch the card, right? So five o'clock they have to go out. So 
I see that people come running to that place where they have to punch the card, and once they punch the card, they're relaxed. To go to their seat workstation, they will take another twenty thirty minutes. They talk, they chit chat, cricket, IPL, KCR, BJP, right? All those things, and go to coffee shop, and then dress, ah, uh, new fashions. Uh, and videos dj tillu all that and then they go to the workstation okay and at 5 o'clock they have to log out right 4:30 the bags are packed right and they'll be chit chatting again and they go and stand and chat and log out so officially for the office this guy was there between 9 and 5 but assume in enterprise where 1000 people are working okay and then uh if 300 people are logging in time but reaching workstation late and logging out on time but not working is one hour per em- one hour per employee and during seven hours also at the workplace they do lot of things right facebook instagram pinterest uh, tiktoks hundreds of things are there we have so many things to do in in a day time so effective seven hours work only 5 hours work is happening 4 and 1/2 hour hours of work is happening and now if 1000 out of 1000 employees if 500 people are working only 4 hours per day right can we expect the company to do well can we expect the company to give you 30% 40% tax every year is it possible no right and that's what most people do and such people remain there Such people remain there, <clears throat> and I have worked in global con- conglomerates like Deloitte, right, and Ernest and Young and such places. I've seen people. The login time is nine. They reach the desk by eight forty-five, and they are, have all the tea, chit chats, everything. Nine o'clock at eight fifty-five. They said nine o'clock. Your work should start nine o'clock. Nine o'clock is not switching on the system. you should start your work effectively by at 9 o'clock right yes you'll have breaks you'll have lunch breaks everything so what i am trying to say utilizing your time effectively at the workplace is what what is done by those one person people you're getting my point so the difference between mediocres and then those one person people is not rocket science right it's common sense just common sense right as per the rule if you stick to the timelines and if you diligently put all those things on when into action you are bound to you know progress now i'll ask you a question tell me truthfully now you're all pursuing your engineering right right apart from your college uh, hours college the time you spend in college how many of you spend at least Four hours per day studying your college books. No, sir. How many? Zero. Zero, sir. <laughs> so now I appreciate your I appreciate your truthfulness. Thank you. <laughs> right? Thank you. You're all next to Gandhi. <laughs> so you are very very truthful i appreciate but the point is you are mean you are missing the bus you are missing the bus okay and uh, and missing the bus is very very expensive it's very costly now i mean people like you if you do well you would stand opportunity to possibly get 1 lakh per month package right so now if you miss the bus you know we will not get job job getting will get delayed and we'll get lesser packages we'll be part of you know startups and very small companies where people don't pay on time you won't have facilities you understand so this cost of missing the bus is very high the point is i mean we are so aligned to enjoyment we are so aligned to having fun right so that we see studying as boring thing 
but that shredding is something which will actually feed us and keep our family going for next 30, 40, 50 years till we are alive, isn't it? So, okay. So keep in mind, and I'm telling you, younger people, uh, now with 26 years of experience, after, after my office work hours, I hard learned at least 20 hours per week I study. 20 hours per week. So where is the time to study? I wake up early in the day at 4 o'clock or 5 o'clock or 3 o'clock or Saturday. I wake up early. Now, because I study 20 hours more, I'm ahead of many, many people at my workplace. I'm ahead of many, many entrepreneurs. You're getting my point, what I'm trying to say. If unless I have more information, unless I have more skills, unless I have more thoughts, unless I have more armory, I cannot beat the rest of the people. I cannot get into senior manager role. So choice is yours. Okay. So, and I'm not telling be all the time, you know, just only study, right? You should allocate appropriate time to have fun, to work and to study. Everything is in place, right? I'm telling you, I'm one of the persons who enjoy the most. I work hard, I play hard. If you see my videos, how I enjoy, you will feel bad. You'll think this elderly fellow is a child. Like that, we enjoy. I'm telling. So we have time for everything. We, we work hard, we play hard. And when you work hard, the play will become very, very, very lovely and very, very nice. You understand? So going to the slide again. <clears throat> Someone who is a swift problem solver. Okay. Now, <clears throat> who could be a problem solver? <clears throat> who could be a problem solver? Now, uh, there was one, when I was working in a company, there was one guy who was a coder, actually. <clears throat> there was a lengthy piece of code, and then uh, we were working on Friday, and that fellow left at 5 o'clock. He was still working and something went wrong. That guy had to call. He had to be called. He was called and they said, I cannot come on Friday. I'm done. Then <clears throat> director of the company called that guy. Gentlemen, please come. He said, I need a cab. I need to pay 10,000 rupees per hour. Then I'll come. It's a fact I'm telling. He said, look, your employee, you're, you're supposed to work. You said, go to hell. I worked already 40 hours, right? And Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Friday evening Saturday is my time. I cannot come. I can only come at a cost. He agreed. Boss agreed to pay 10,000 rupees per hour. He's employee. He knows the game. He's a master, right? For that evening, he, demand, he charged 50,000 rupees. He came and within three hours, he resolved. And then he, he was... You know, kind of paid 30,000. I mean, he raised 30,000 rupees invoice. So, what I'm trying to say, if you're a master, right, you can, pro pro you can solve problems. If you're mediocre, you cannot solve problems. You'll be one among many. Oh, problem, there is problem, there is problem. Okay, everybody will crib, there is a problem. Oh, <clears throat> uh, in India, there is unemployment. Well, government should resolve the problem. Okay. Yes. Now, we, we have problems, right? But there are a few people who actually take proactive action to resolve the problem. So people are aspiring to <clears throat> get to boardroom, right? You should live a life of problem solver. It's not that, see, this is not my job. That is my boss job. This is not my job. That is team leader's job. This is not my job. That is my team member's job. No. People who take the responsibility will grow. You understand? So I'll tell you one example of how one person took responsibility. I was going in a car from Hyderabad to Karimnagar. So I, I stopped at a place to have tea. So they were giving tea in a plastic cup. So I was about to have my tea. Then uh, someone came to me stating, sir, please don't have tea in plastic cup. Have in a steel glass. From his bag, he has given a steel glass. This is a rare situation, right? I got a bit perplexed. Then I said, who are you and why you are doing all this? Thing? He said, sir, the plastic pollution is increasing in this world. Nobody is bothered in this world. So I'm a software employee in Hyderabad. Friday, Saturday and Sunday, I stand here. At least I'm stopping 300 people from using plastic cups. 
I felt moved with his, uh, you know, intention. So I took the glass, had tea. Then I asked, "What all you do to save plastic?" And he said, "It's not a plastic; it's about carbon footprint." So I sold my car, I sold my two wheeler. I only use train or next bus or next shared auto or next lift. Then my cycle, right? And for the buses and trains he is using, he said. He has to plant three thousand plants per year, and on average, he is planting five thousand plants per year. Now, look, people. <clears throat> when he was telling all those things, I was feeling guilty. I was feeling bad. I am not doing anything. I am consuming everything from this environment. Now, he has taken the responsibility, right? I know it's an extreme example, right? But, but you know, because of that particular activity by him. that company gave him full time csr project director and then if i am not wrong his salary has been increased to 30 lakhs rupees per annum where he was 10 lakhs rupees per annum earlier you understand how taking responsibility will help you rise <clears throat> you understand see for example you know you have a problem you go to hospital you know some of your friend or acquaintance and if the doctor sees this is not in my syllabus i was not taught this in mbbs course is every case same every accident same a doctor takes the responsibility to understand and he resolves the problem isn't it in the same way as professionals in <clears throat> whichever career you you are trying to choose you should be the problem solver you should be at your home in your locality in your workspace right you should be the person who will take the responsibility and then try to resolve it so this is the quality of a person who has who will enter the board room i am making sense if i am making sense raise your right hand if i am not making sense raise your left hand any questions until now any questions until now any contradictions any questions any doubts any clarifications please raise your hand and ask me సో మీరు ఏం క్వశ్చన్ అడగట్లేదు అంటే చాలా బాగా చెప్తున్నాను అనమాట క్వశ్చన్స్ రావాలండి యూ షుడ్ హావ్ సమ్ క్వశ్చన్ గో హెడ్ ఆస్ మీ క్వశ్చన్ నో క్వశ్చన్స్ ఓకే థర్డ్ పాయింట్ ఈస్ someone who is a go to person at challenging time someone who is bent upon setting new benchmarks consistently this is what we were speaking about previous point someone who relentlessly works towards complementing business objectives to the nail someone who is recollected by the team peers and authentic trustworthy capable person okay authentic trustworthy capable authentic trustworthy capable okay so uh, i mean just read these three words again authentic trustworthy capable now <clears throat> you you can you can ask a question to yourself authentic authentic and somebody who is genuine okay trustworthy and meaning would be dilsu okay what is the third one authentic trustworthy capable. and capable okay so మిమ్మల్ని మీరు ప్రశ్న అడుక్కోవాలా యూ షుడ్ ఆస్క్ క్వశ్చన్ ఐ ఆమ్ స్టడింగ్ ఇన్ ఫోర్త్ ఇయర్ ఆఫ్ మై ఐఎమ్ స్టడింగ్ ఫోర్త్ ఇయర్ ఆఫ్ మై బీటెక్ ఐమ్ ఐ అథెంటిక్ ట్రస్ట్ వర్ది అండ్ కేపబుల్ యాజ్ అన్ ప్రాస్పెక్టివ్ టెక్ గ్రాడ్యుయేట్ చేయలేపండి అథెంటిక్ ట్రస్ట్ వర్ది కేపబుల్ అని ఎంతమంది చేయలేపుతారు జెన్యున్ గా ఓకే excellent one person has raised so i mean one thumb rule is if you are okay you should raise your right hand left is negative right is positive like that that's how we fix i appreciate you gentlemen now i want to talk to you right don't think i'm questioning you i want to hear from you what makes you authentic trustworthy and genuine what makes you feel that you are authentic trustworthy and genuine please tell me well, during my graduation i I like there is some jarring voice 
Am I audible, sir? No. Yeah, you're audible. Yeah. During my graduation, I learned that teams are like finally a problem. During that, am I audible, sir? Like yes, now audible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. During that graduation project, final year project, uh, my team members used to interact with me and discuss with me regarding the project uh, progression, sir. And also, we are the team of nine members, so definitely some mis miscommunications are taken place. And during that time, everyone used to share their own experiences with some other persons. So at that moment, I understood that. everyone are sharing their own experiences with me like they are feeling me as a trustworthy and also genuine like authentic and also they are made me like a team lead so so that i allotted work like paperwork for some people and the assembling part and also for some other uh, shouldering part was i i was the one who allotted these kind of works so I feel like I am capable of doing this as well. Excellent! One round of applause to the gentleman. What is the name? Ashwan sir. Ashwan, excellent. Thanks. I mean, I, I mean, now, uh, you know, people, you know, you all, you all also might have some, uh, you know, things to share, right? I'm sure, but you might be probably not sure. You might probably not clear. right when you when you might have heard yashwan speaking you might have thought yes i also i am authentic i i am also you know capable i am also trustworthy sort of thoughts might have come to you but unless you know you will you, you will you should be able to speak out you, you you will be only able to speak when you are full when you have a self doubt you won't speak you understand what i'm trying to say so you should elevate yourself to that state where you will be able to speak fluently about your you know self okay so now uh just i'll i'll tell with an example and we could move on to the next topic and dr vishnu uh it's almost uh, 11 i mean how much time do we are we left with and how much time could we continue i actually delayed myself from the original track because at the end of the day i wanted to give some right value to you rather than sticking to the ppt and then slides am i making sense it's 4:30 sir here okay i mean i don't know till what time i could continue 10th hour ending session time 4:30 so i'm left with 5 minutes more Five minutes, right? Yes, sir. Okay. So, people, uh, <clears throat> okay. So, you should be uh, whatever you know, kind of authentic, trustworthy, capable, and then someone who is recognized by the industry as subject matter expert for his contribution to speaking, you know, summits through blogs and at professional groups. someone who exceeds expectations and gets appraisal rating 1 and gets compelled for promotions someone good, good with good speaking and writing skills and good team player and choice of many if not all so people uh this or the traits of you know a person who aspires to get into the boardroom right and let me tell you it's not impossible i myself am an example and there are many people who did more better than me and then they are in much better positions you know in the corporate lives okay so uh so now what is that we could do to get there now you understood some traits you understood what are those characteristics which you should possess so because we have few minutes i am trying to hit the nail right that is mastery m a s t e r y mastery in everything you do is the key right you might know 10 things peripherally it doesn't help you should know one thing perfectly or two things perfectly that's all so if you close your eyes you should see mastery if you open your eyes you should see mastery right you are talking to somebody speak like a master you are writing an email right give an email with great mastery right if somebody reads the email 
they should feel wow how nicely he or she has written this email you have given one sms or whatsapp message somebody reads that they should feel wow what a message it is you understand so you are cooking something cook cook that in such a way that people will start appreciating so now if you strike the path of mastery if you strike the path of mastery you will be able to exuberate that fragrance and people will start perceiving it it could be a home it could be a friends it could be a workplace it could be wherever you are okay now how to strike that mastery track is the question right you could strike the mastery path if you aspire if you desire if you are if you think of it now you know think of i'll just take, tell a simple example think in your family some particular curry might be cooked one by one person it could be mother or a sister or a aunt right if you have to eat, eat that curry that person is the best do you have such an example raise your hand do you have such an example please raise your hand if you are eating a particular curry we should eat that curry cooked by that person yes or no do we have so right please raise your hands right now you for what you are remembered by people now i spoke with yashwan or there are some other people xyz now in your home in your you know within your classmates with and wherever you are people should remember you for one of your expertise that guy or that lady is a person whom i should approach right now for you to reach that stage at right, a mastery right you should be able to stick to continuous practice continuous practice till you gain the mastery is the track for us right and if you have to stick to the path of mastery please understand life will not become boring you will have you will have time for all the fun in this world right evening fun saturday fun sunday fun birthday fun festival fun new year fun all the funs will be there in spite of having all the fun in the world if you could spend your time smartly in a appropriate way in striking the path of mastery right you will get into the full spectrum view of leading your life right it's not just in your career you will start becoming master wherever you are at your home amongst your friends at your workplace in your neighborhood in a clubs you belong to in the play areas wherever you go so without that genuine authentic and trustworthy self right and without continuous practice with the target of mastery you can never get into the 1% category of the people am i making sense yes, sir how many of you how many of you are agreeing today right in this session with me that stating that i will strike the path of mastery i all i want you all to say once i will strike the path of mastery i want you